Hello, welcome back to a new video. Quick disclaimer. I just uh, redone the fight with Mintara because apparently if we if you don't take the Paladin path in the conversation you will lose your vote and uh, what I did is just uh, I redone the fight. Right now we'll go and uh, sell all the items that we have to the vendors here. And we'll read the books. After that, I will go into the camp, uh, speak with Wolo, and uh, retain, retrain Gale. Because apparently I missed the a really good spell and I really wanted. So for the moment, let's read all the books and let's sell them. Okay, let's sell most of our stuff. Need something else. Okay, let's uh, use all, give all the scrolls to Gale. What did we pick from Intara? We picked the um, really good armor. Basically, that's it. Um, yeah, let's go to the camp. Pick with Volo and. Uh, okay, let's pick with the dog first. The dog holds a well chewed ball in his mouth. All right. It's only fair that you enjoy it too, but if you feel like throwing it, I wouldn't mind that at all. Okay, let's pet him. If you throw the ball, you will get uh, the dog as a companion. It's a really good companion. It will find secrets in the world. Let's see where's the ball. You will get also an achievement for doing this. 
Okay, let's pick with Volo and uh, start the operation thing. Ah, my good fellow. Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. I was just settling in and reviewing my latest findings. Mind flares, cultists, and of course, your esteemed company. <laughs> what do you know about mind flares? Why, I'm practically an expert. They've tentacles, you know. Quite shocking. The druid Halson had some kind of mind flare specimen in a jar in his quarters. A replica, no doubt, but truly fascinating to see up close. And their parasites? Do you know anything about them? As a matter of fact, I do. But why do you? A mind flare planted one of their larvae in my brain. That's quite impossible. You'd have undergone ceramorphosis by now. If only your disbelief could alter the facts. If what you say were true, you'd be a mind flare by now. You? Infected by a mind flare? Oh, ridiculous. Isn't it? Examine me. Find out for yourself. Perhaps that's for the best. I'd be irresponsible not to debunk such a strange claim. If I just peer in your eye, I could quickly... Oh, dear sweet gods! I want to read of this thing by any means necessary. If we managed it, we'd have a specimen of incredible rarity on our hands. I'll need to research the particulars, however. Give me a bit of time and I'll have this little issue sorted. Okay, so we did this. First of all, we will uh, respect uh, Gale. Oh, I have a magic touch. Oh, that is uh, the bony boy. Come on, where are you, man? Not okay, I think he is here. Yeah. So let's respect uh, Gale. I will basically do the same, but I will take another spell. I will take wizard also. Oh, uh, we don't need a hand. Let's uh, check the other spell. We'll need armor. We'll need burning hands. Uh, we'll need uh, magic missile. Let's take enhance leap, um, grease and mm. hideous laughter. It's uh, nice. Let's pick full cloud. Okay, at level two. We'll pick evocation. We pick two spells again. Let's pick ice knife and uh, thunder wave for prepare spells. We will have magic missile. Armor, Grease, and... Let's pick this Ice Shard. Okay, right now we need to pick basically Cloud of Daggers and I'll pick uh, Scorching Ray. And as prepared spells, we'll pick uh, Cloud of Daggers. And Scorching Ray. I 
as the next cantrip I think I will get uh, the light one as uh, two other spells I will pick uh, misty steps and probably flaming spear as for prepare spells I will take flaming spear I remove burning hand uh, I think I remove grease and uh, pick uh, misty steps and I think we can have them both or let's have thunderous wave maybe we can push them and as for the feet um I think I'll pick the ability improve one. Uh, no, let's pick uh, dexterity to have more initiative. And I think that's it. Okay. Uh, I think we will also rest because we are here. So let's rest. Okay, let's pick with our uh, I promised I'd be vi back. dream visitor. Don't worry. I have things under control. For now. I see you've been using the powers the tadpole gives you. Good. But things haven't gone as you expected. You hoped a druid as powerful as Halsin might be able to remove your tadpole. But he couldn't. You're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. But you're looking for solutions in the wrong places. Tell me who you are. It's complicated. But I'm an adventurer. Just like you. Just like you, I was infected with a mind flayer parasite. Just like you, I seek to be free of it. But to do that, we'll need to think beyond local healers. Your parasite is unusual. It is wrapped in magic that prevents its removal. Until the source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed, any attempt to remove it will kill you. You were lucky that Halsin knew this. His instincts are right. The parasites are merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. How do I destroy the source of the tadpole's magic? I am not sure yet. To find the answers, we must first find the source. These parasites are more than a lithid spawn. They are vessels for control. The infected hear the voice of the Absolute, and believe it to be a god. You witnessed it yourself with Priestess Gut. That is how the cult of the Absolute is spreading. The highest of their rank, the True Souls, carry a tadpole just like yours. It is how they receive their orders. It is what makes them obey. When the order to transform is given, it will not be a matter of days. They will be mind flayers in an instant. Were it not for my protection, so would you. How is that you protect me? I have powers of my own. Unique powers. But know that we are alike. I've been trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once... I almost succeeded. Now, through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where I cannot, and I can protect you from that evil. If we work together, we may turn this around. Hells, they need me. I have to go. 
What is going on over there? The power I used to protect you. I stole it from someone. They want it back. I will hold them off for as long as I can, but sooner or later I will be worn down. You must discover the source of the magic that controls the parasites before that happens. The cultists are gathering at Moonrise Towers. Use the powers your parasite gives you to convince them you are one of them. And when you find the source of their magic, destroy it. Go. Our freedom depends on it. Okay, let's speak with Volo and take the eye. Ah, my good fellow. Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. Has your research turned up anything that might help with the parasite problem? Yeah, he will chop up my eyeball. It will be gruesome. My research turned up a rather brilliant technique that seems quite actionable. Mm -hmm. It's not too deep. Just behind the orbital socket. I could attempt an extraction. I've a needle in my tunic after all. Do it. Volo carefully holds one of your eyes open and begins to prod uncertainly with the needle. Endure the discomfort, let him carry on. The needle finds the gap between eyeball and socket. Volo frowns and begins to push. Change your fist. Oh my god. Through your body, the needle snags on your optic nerve. I think I have it. The needle seesaws back and forth, plucking the nerve like a harp string. Oh, bother. There's some obstacle in the way. I shall need a more robust implement. That's still as possible. Follow carefully withdraws the needle from your eye. Then, reaching into his bag, he produces an ice pick. Oh my fucking god, I the implement, but allow him to proceed. Volo slowly brings the ice pick closer to your eye. Now, don't move. Hold your breath. Cold metal presses against the skin beneath your brow. And then, tap, tap, stab. Oh my god. Do you feel that? Yeah, I think I feel it. Lighter on the run. I agree. It's a feisty critter. Just a little further. Volo tears the pick from your brain with a violent jerk. Your eye plops down into the mud. Tret. He pauses, looks down at your eye, and recoils slightly as it sinks into the mud. There appears to be an amount of cosmetic damage. <laughs> you knock my bloody eye out. Please, try not to overexert yourself. You're in a rather fragile state at present. I can't help but feel partly responsible. Perhaps there is something more I can do. Take this. A far superior relic to that old jelly you were chained to. Try it on for size. And, um, it was very nice to have met you. I'm sure you'll sort out your little brain problem one way or another. Far away from here, if you've a heart. Terribly sorry, my friend. Ta! Okay, so we got the same visibility. I don't know if uh, our eye is different. Maybe. 
Okay, so uh, let's uh, use the speak with animal potion. Do we still have those? They are here. Okay, nice. Okay, awesome. So let's go. We are set with Gale, I think. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, get our spells first with Gale. We need Clock of Daggers. So we will have the AOA spells here. These are the cantrips, these are the TP. These are the buffs. Okay, we are set. Good. Uh, let's go kill the... The last boss. We will go uh, into the... Um, under... Under... How it's called? Underground. Undertake, whatever it's called. We'll go through the Goblin's Camp because we'll be in a really good spot. What are they doing here? Okay, let's pick with this dude first. If I were you, I'll get me ass back to the party before somebody put me to work. Okay, let's pick with this dude. Praise is ever bleeding axe. Praise is throne of flaming iron. Praise McGlubbyet. You know McGlubbyet. A tyrannical deity who treats his goblinoid followers as slaves. Trying to interrupt my prayers? Scared of a real god? You're as goomless as the rest of them. Gormless, I'm not the one behind bars. How you how how do you land yourself in that cage? I'm loyal to McLubbyet. Cause I ain't having my head turned by some upstart. God. The absolute, the other goblin seems to love her. They like feasting, fighting, and fornicating. Who doesn't? Absolute gives them that. Gotta know your place in the world, though. McLubbyet's kept us in line. That's what a god's supposed to do. Okay, I think. I had another dream. Which, I suppose, means you did as well. Whoever's reaching out to us truly does seem opposed to the Absolute, but wants us to embrace the Tadpole. Venture right into the heart of the cult. Perhaps we truly have a secret protector. Or we're walking into a trap. Okay. Very serious of you. It's strange. I'm fine. Quite splendidly, to give credit where it's due. You and I have shared some good times. Okay, so we still have that uh, exclamation mark. Really, really strange. Okay, let's see here what we can do. I command you, corpse. Speak. Reveal truth to the absolute. Nothing must be reading it wrong. Suga now Shukuk. The hobgoblin turns to you, and the parasite squirms in your skull. You taste the ale on his tongue and the bile in his soul. The visions cloud your inner eye for a brief moment once again. You see the hobgoblin bowing before the armored elf you'd glimpsed before the elf speaks of the one eye is uh, blue the other one is uh, brown to whoever finds it the hobgoblin's eyes gleam hungrily never saw a true soul like you uh, by the way i will show you the buff that uh, volo gave me he doesn't speak his next words yet they still rattle your skull from within you ever talk to a dead squid? Now's your chance. Let's 
let's see because we may lose our oath study the corpse this mind flyer's build is smaller it's garb plainer a fearsome creature even in death but not the one that tormented you yet it too roamed the nautiloid it would have seen you known you absolute says the dead squiddy had a weapon I reckon the killer nabbed it and scooted off to that looter camp. We find who killed it, and we find who took that weapon. So settle in. Then let the ceremony proceed. You choke on black smoke as the hog goblin bellows his incantation. I command you, corpse. Speak and say sooth. Lucan Ock, I'll call deck Shulkok Hanks. The hideous corpse rises, tentacles writhing. Your heart seizes. What if the creature noted your presence at the crash site? Let's um, basically use the wisdom checks. Okay, we succeeded the first one. Mind reels, then calms. He will speak as you command. With Raglan's voice, you ask. Who is the absolute? Who is the absolute? Raglin frowns in confusion at a question he would never have asked. Then the creature speaks in visions. Curved drow blades, crude goblin torches, null teeth dripping blood. You see other mind flayers arranged in a serene circle. Absolute unity. Absolute power. Damn it! That tells me nothing! You feel Raxlin's suspicions. He'd never have asked about his master. You remain in control. Barely. Who killed you? Who killed you? Again, a vision comes to you. A memory seen through the creature's soul-dead eyes. You see a clawed hand open a holding pod, devoid of flesh. Only darkness. You're kidding me. Very helpful, Squid. Suspicion floods Ragsland's mind. Your brain howls as you force a final query into his throat. What did the killer want? What did the killer want? Visions consume you once more. A swarm of Githyanki dragon riders, silver blades held high. Control panels melting, flesh pods spilled open. Keep on the, the wait. Ragslin pierces your mind, prodding for truth. You, you're no true soul. Okay, let's use the persuasion check. Because apparently he found out. We roll twelve again. Yeah. Let's hope we didn't broke our oath. Collapses. Silent once more. No, no, I'm not done. Riddles, all of it, and nothing to show for the trouble but rotting squid meat. No answers, no killer, and no damned weapon. <sighs> that damned trow was right. Can't let her get all that glory. Seems I ain't done with you. Report to the drow. Minthar is the name. She's mounting an attack on that blasted grove. Tell her you'll join her. Okay, so uh, consider it done. The absolute. Okay, so apparently it's the same. Either you kill him first or Mintara, it's the same thing. Okay, first and foremost. 
I will put a Astarian and um, Gale on top. And uh, let's uh, let's first uh, move uh, the barrels to Shadow Heart. Okay, so we will do uh, a really nice thing. I will show it to you. We will put three barrels here. We will start, we will save first, we will position our boys. Okay, so he can hit from here. I think Gale can hit uh, the drum from here. And what we will do, we will start and sing. The uh, song that will gather uh, others. Okay, let's do it again. Performing bard, what? Why well, I can perform the bard? She will have work. Strange. Okay, so he's coming. No. Can I have the performance? Seriously? Do I have to performance? Let's check here again. Maybe something's bugged. Let's get going. Maybe we need to move a little bit. What you need in now? The absolute's got room for everyone. Long as you if the absolute says to take orders from a drow, then we tow the mark. No questions. Another step forward. In my other play through it really worked basically to gather the the dudes. I don't know exactly why it doesn't work right now. Let me check with another loot if I have one. Come on, why do I have three variants right now? something rough I don't know exactly why let me check uh, let me check outside so if outside works it should work inside also I don't know exactly what happened and why do we have three variants right now Okay, so apparently outside I'm gathering them. So it should work there also. I want to gather the goblins around the boss and I will blow up the barrels. Absolute 
We'll kill basically everything in the camp, but I can kill the boss. It's now a issue, but I don't really want to waste uh, anything. I still have the um, the ogres. I probably kill them sometime. Let's see if uh, it works. Maybe they are, uh, I don't know, trapped or something like that. Let's speak with one of him. Okay. So apparently they don't want to come. Hmm. Okay, let's start the fight. At least to finish the fight this time. are allowed to do that as okay not that much damage to the boss apparently okay so we missed now they see me no all do okay Gail put some daggers here Holy fuck. Is we saved? No. Okay, let's put the barrels near the boss. Apparently they really wrecked me. One sh the one shot at Shadowheart, that dude with the two-handed axe. Let's see. Okay, so it works right now. That's really great. Okay, I don't know. I think it was a bug. Okay. It worked and after that it didn't. You saw it. Okay, let's load again. Apparently it works for the first time. I don't know exactly what's happening. This save it's really buggy to be honest. The shadow heart exclamation mark and Okay, so it works right now. So we attract them. We failed the uh music but it doesn't matter i think yeah so we'll enter in uh, we enter in turn based mode we jump we use shadow hard to basically blow the barrel basically you kill half of the boys they are basically all of them are dead Right now we hit him with Astarian. I think it's really hard to hit him. That's it. The fight is almost over. And that's how you kill the this boss. As you can see, we, we basically wrecked him. Okay, the, right now we have to fight the whole map. That's the big thing. So... Fight. Let's, go. let's wait for them. Let's heal Shadowheart. He doesn't need that heal. Let's heal her with 8. 
let them come to us. Okay, first and foremost, uh, let's uh, use Astarian to kill one of them. Come on, dude. Hit one of them. Nice. Allow me to demonstrate. Okay, let's loot them, we are level 5 and uh, Shadowheart needs a little bit of experience. As you can see, I killed basically all of them with this uh, With these uh, three barrels. What's in here? In. Okay. Let's go behind and uh, loot the room. First of all, let's move these things to Shadow Heart. Let's, uh, let's loot this because there are a lot of uh, camp supplies here. I'll take that. Anything of use? Let's level up to level 5, we'll get our second attack. So, we have the magic weapon. Infuse weapon with arcane energy, the weapon becomes magical, receiving plus 1 attack and damage roll. That's nice. Branding smite possibly marks your target with life, preventing it from turning invisible. <laughs> Interesting. Aid. We already have 8 on. Uh, I don't think I will ever use Searing Might. Protecting for poison is okay. Uh, cure wounds. Hmm. Let's leave Cure wounds. Define favorites. Let's let's leave this here on level five with Astarion. I don't think we get anything. Just the class feature that uh, uncanny dodge. You, we are harder to be hit. And with Gale, I think we got another spell or level 3 spells. No, level 2. No, we got a level 3 one. So we will pick Fireball. This is really good, but yeah, let's use let's pick haste. Let's uh, let's pick fireball and haste, and probably uh, 
waterfall. Looking ahead. Keep your distance. Mastarian, do your stuff. Simple. I think this is a really good sword. Let's save. But I think I have the key. Let me check. Okay, yeah, I have the key. Uh, let's put this on Gale. We have another Infernal Iron. This one is really good. I think I'll put it on myself. This one I'll put on Asterion. Okay, so... I'll put these gloves on myself. They're really nice. Have anything to say? Just improved. Okay. Let's save and let's uh, continue murdering the goblins. Let's go up to see what's up. I think there's something around here. Yeah, right now they are. Uh, Basically, they aggro on us. to murder him I'll do it my way. how do you miss for the ages. Nothing important is ever easy. okay let's uh, let's uh, stay stealth Keep uh, missing the spells, dude. Got to move. My knees are starting to ache. Path less traveled. 
Sometimes the only way out is through. I hope your soul is in good hands. <laughs> Another key. Let's see what's uh, around uh, here. There's a gilded chest here. Okay, Shadow Heart also leveled up. Let's see her spells. Spirit Guardian is really good. Remote Curse, I don't know. Mass Healing is great also. Silence, not that great. We already have to speak with the date. and my date, we don't want it. Bestow Curse. Uh, Leaf of Warding is also good. This one's also great. But I think I will get Silver of Warding to have some damage and probably. <laughs> Let's pick whole person. We have a lot of stuff right now. This is our, on ourselves. On her. So many spells. This is a revive. This is a heal. This is really good. So good. Okay, let's stay here and uh, let's move just with my main character around here. We can go around here and be down. This is also the puzzle, I think. This is where uh, the dudes from the Zentarim squad, uh, was, uh, the room that they guarded. So it's pointless to stay around here. I think this is it here. I don't think there's anything else. Okay, let's see how we can go back up. Let's move around here. Okay, so we started the fight. Let's see if we can start with Astarian. Let's find some prey. One dead. Just like old times. I will give it. At the ready. We have a proper bow, yeah. I have the titan string, so it's really good on me. Let's try to hit them from above. Nice. 
Let's also get Gale to the party. Okay, we need to speak with Holstein also to tell him that we killed uh, all the leaders. We will kill this goblin, speak with Holstein, and uh, I think I will end the video. Okay, that's really nice. Okay, Gribo. This is for Volo. Nice. He succeeded with that cantrip. Basically, I uh, failed the check. The roll check. This is the other one. Let's kill the spiders before speaking with uh, with Holstein. Let's loot the goblins and after that let's speak with the uh, let's kill the spiders. Something good here, I hope. If you want to get uh, absolute gear, 
you need to accept the brand. I didn't want to accept it because I will lose my vote. So if you play another character you can accept the brand. It's It will not do anything. It's just it will basically get you access to uh, absolute gear. Let me check if we find it. Around here, so as you can see, absolute ward. If the wielder bears the absolute brand, they gain plus one to saving throws. That's the only thing. It's a small buff. Let's go to the spiders and kill the spiders also. Let's short rest. Let's speak with Astarian to unlock the door, but I think I have the key. Let me check. No, apparently I do not. Astarian, do your stuff. Okay, let's uh, let's kill the spiders first. They are a little bit of experience. Yes, my desire. Okay, let's see. Oh, sir, my sweet, I will wrap you and bind you and bite you and eat you. Okay, you get sick if you ate me. Let's see. I see your sickness. A poison in the skull. Do not touch me. Do not come close. I will kill you anyway. What the fuck? That way. I plan to kill you, so. Almost dead. Let's uh, stop the passive. A little bit of experience, not much. Let's see if there's anything here. No. Just these two spiders, I think. Come on. A oh, shadow heart. What now? Let's drink these potions. No Come on. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, see if we can have something to loot around here and uh, after that let's speak with Holsen. There are two more goblins or three more goblins around here, we will kill them and afterwards uh, I will tip you to the goblin camp and basically start decimating them. Let me see if I can kill the rats, what's happening. One experience, where are you running? It's, he went up on the stairs. Let's uh, loot this dude first. Okay, let's speak with Holstein and uh, probably end this video. This is where Volo was. We still have three. I think Shadowheart, uh, it's okay accepting the... Um, the Ilted powers, but I think I will put... Uh, two on uh, Astarian also, because uh, this passive, it's... It's really overpowered. So we, um, I think I will really, um, basically respect Astarian at level 6 to be 3 level thief and um, 
3 level groom stalker and I will uh, respect him uh, until level 5 on uh, ranger in order to get uh, 2 extra attacks ok so I missed this chest apparently Whole scene, my dude, where are you? Prison key. I think there's a barrel around here. We might need it, but I don't know. Let's speak with the druid. The ringleaders have to die. The very natural order of things is in danger. Thanks to them. All leaders are dead. The groves is safe. You did it. You actually did it. The leader's dead. <laughs> Praise Sylvanus. No. That's not right. Praise you, my friend. The grove owes you a debt beyond measure. Killing's never my first choice. But those three were too dangerous to leave alive. I need your help. And you'll receive it soon enough. Return to the grove. I'll make my own way there. I can see to some matters there, and we can discuss what comes next amidst more bucolic surroundings than here. Okay. We will clear the goblin camp, and after that, uh, I think I will uh, basically finish all the fights here. With the goblins. I think there are three more. At the beginning of. Uh, basically near the door. So. Seems simple enough. I think there are three more here. Or here. Yeah. Uh, apparently there are just two. No, there are three. Have to keep going. Stepping softly. Okay, let's start the fight with Astarion. Let's see. Luck. 47. That's incredible. There's another one. Where are you? Okay, so there are four. There. I will uh, rest before going to. Before going to kill the ones outside. Don't linger. Leave no trace. I think I have the passive. No, I have the passive up. Got so much damage, and I missed. I don't fancy their chances. May it please, Mistra. Torment. Have a lot on my mind in there. Okay. Okay, so there are two more. Okay.
weight on my feet. Let's have a look. I will TP to the Zentarin camp and uh, sell my items there. And after that, I will rest and uh, put an end to the video. And uh, on the next part, we will continue clearing up the goblins camp. We uh, have a lot of goblins to kill outside. After that, we will go to the grove and finish the, um, the quest there. Another thing is that... I will uh, fight also the spiders inside the well in the blighted village. Uh, I need to kill that big spider in order to get a sh uh, gem to open up that table book that we found, basically that necromancy book. I don't know exactly if the paladin path permit me to read it it will give me some uh, speak with the dead and i think some wisdom uh, uh, plus one to wisdom uh, saving throws i really need to pass like three uh, wisdom uh, skill checks i'll try to do it if i cannot do it uh, with uh, my main character i will do them with astarian so let's uh, speak with the dude and sell our stuff we have uh, two infernal irons i think i need to speak with uh, the blacksmith in the town to upgrade the uh, carlac Okay. Let's see what we can get. I'll get to the invisibility potion. It's always nice to have some invisibility potions. And I think that's it. I don't think I need anything. Pleasure. Okay, let's go to the camp. And after that we'll tip it directly into the fight on the blight on the um, goblins camp. Uh, let's speak with Gale. Pretty. Oh. My, you startled me. I, uh... It's miles away. Were you praising to your god it is so I'd be glad to join your vigil? So I was. Praying, though perhaps more accurately. Pleading. Mistra commands all magic. Salvation, if such a thing exists, is hers to bestow or withhold. And yet even now, more than I fear losing my own self and soul, I fear losing my command of her art. Magic is... My life. I've been in touch with the Weave for as long as I can remember. There's nothing like it. It's like music, poetry, physical beauty, all rolled into one and given expression through the senses. Would you like to experience this? Yes, I would. Then follow my lead. One eye, it's now blue. Here. I think it'll teach me performance imitated gesture, arcana. Seriously, arcana is dexterity.
You feel something strange, like a kind word and a kind touch at the same time. It's warm and comfortable. Excellent. Now, repeat after me. Athra Nistra Ril Kantrak Eo. Suddenly, the scent of rose water and a sense of well being. A sliver of weave that tastes sweet on the tongue. Very good. Now, I want you to picture in your mind the concept of harmony. As true as you can. Let's do another performance check, skill check. And we got one. That's nice. Let's try it again. <laughs> of a woman the woman who hovered over gail's palm there's something like the anticipation of a kiss then the pleasure of being cloaked in peace no i will not you kiss him safe. you are nestled in the cup of mistress hand <laughs> you did it you're channeling the weave how does it feel Effortless, you are a wonderful teacher. Oh, I know. Let's not uh, romance him. The weave connects you. The moment feels intimate. Uh, you are in no mood to be close to Gaylor. Is this your gaft on the weave? The weave evaporates. And as it does so, you realize the night feels suddenly cold and lonesome. Oh. There it goes. How easily things slip away from us. No matter how hard they were in the obtaining. Good night. I enjoyed sharing a moment of magic with you. Okay, so this is how you can romance Gale, I think. Let's try to speak with... Uh, there is Shadowheart. Maybe she has something to say. I was hoping you'd come to chat. What do you need? I need your exclamation marks to be gone. Very serious of you. It's strange. I've been dwelling on what I told you before about wanting to become a dark justicia. But perhaps okay. I should be content with my lot. Fine. What's on your mind? What do you think about what happened to the Druid Grove? I suppose some would commend our actions. Goblins would have raised that whole place to nothing if it weren't for us. No excuse to rest on our laurels, though. We've still got our own problems to contend with. Quite splendidly, to give credit where it's due. Okay, so the exclamation mark will not be gone, apparently. I think we can... Uh, basically, we can uh, release uh, Danton. Let's speak with Gail and uh given the magnitude of what we're up against, I see no harm in considering the benefit this offer might afford us. It could be as existential evils go, the absolute certainly seems an adversary worth holding in its tracks. Any opportunities for us to indulge our tadpole's capabilities are hardly on the same scale. Trifles, when one considers the bigger picture. Okay, and let's uh Let's tell him to remain. Uh, I'll be here. Let's pick Danton. And let's. Uh, Art thou certain? How can I help? Okay, let's rest. Something to say. So that's what people mean when they talk very serious of you. Even if I could remember, I'm not sure. I'm fine. 
Okay, so it's the same. Let's get going. Well, then let's tip it to... Let's save here. In the camp. So I'll save here. Thank you for watching. This was a little bit uh, of a longer episode. I'll see you next time. We'll uh, continue basically killing all the goblins in the camp. After that we'll go and finish the spiders below the well. And after that we will go and kill the hag. We have this uh, sea invisibility so it will be we could have kill her in the first turn you can do that if you want but uh, you will miss uh, an attribute point after i get that attribute point from her let me check my character splits is right now i'm 15 charisma and 17 and i think i will uh, basically switch a little bit these things around i'll get 16 charisma i think from her i think that's great or should i pick so what the eyes gives us is allow us to see how it's called to see invisible creatures they need to make a dexterity roll check I think I will uh, respect a little bit my uh, my uh, character and I will basically put 15 in charisma and 15 in constitution and uh, I think I got what did I got I got savage attack right okay okay it's great and doing so, the next time we get a fit, we'll have 18 uh, strength, 16 constitution, and 16 charisma. I don't think we need uh, dexterity that much. And I think that will be really great. So, yeah. I see you next time. Thank you for watching.